Uh, the first thing they're doing is tidying up from last night because we were kind of losing the light as it got to four o'clock. So everyone's going around uh, with their nice sharp spade, straightening up sections, um, cleaning off spade marks from the sections, and then everyone's going to give the the top surface is just a nice hard trowel back so we can check that everyone's where they think they are and on top of the layer they think they're on. Um, at which point we can um, decide what happens in what test bit. So we've got some that are definitely on top of sort of major features um, and the decision may be on those ones to put a sondage down within the test pit or it may be that we've got as much information as we think we can out of a particular test pit and we'll, we'll uh, record it, draw it, photograph it and um, backfill it. So uh, when everything's cleaned up and tidy it'll be much easier to make those kinds of decisions. Can, in you, this tell one, us, um, can you tell us a little bit about why it's important to have straight edges, why it's important to have a tidy trench? Yes, I mean, it all sounds quite anal when you say it but there is a very good reason and that's um, the world is wobbly and archaeology is wobbly so by making a straight edge out of your trench whether it's in plan or in section it gives you something to measure against so if you didn't have the artificial straight there's no way of telling exactly how the, the wibbly wobbly wonderful world is against that it's almost like making your own tape measure out of a landscape um, and the reason you don't want an untidy trench in terms of bits of string etc is you can fall in them and really hurt yourself so um, it's health and safety and um, recording archaeology properly. <laughs>